All right, so what's up, everybody? Welcome back to j and Garage. We're back down in the shop today with Reba. Got JP here with me. Got Reed here with me. You guys remember little Reed? This is his older brother from a very... This episode from a long time ago, man. Yeah, I think it's sometime last year. Uh, today, though, we're going to be doing a pretty easy job. Uh, I got to replace the upper ball joint on my truck. And I'm also going to be showing you guys how to check ball joints in this video. Uh, as far as, like this style a-arm setup goes it's, it's really easy the only tools you're going to need is a piece of four by four wood you do not have to take the tire off piece of four by four a some type of pry bar or a crowbar and uh a floor jack and that's really it and so i'm just going to show you guys how to check this i'm going to show you guys what a bad ball joint looks like and a good ball joint looks like and then we're going to get to work all right guys so Kind of forgot to film, but we've already replaced the ball joint. You guys have seen ball joints get replaced. Now, it's a little different on this truck because the ball joint's actually made into the upper A-arm. All it is is you knock it loose from the knuckle here with a pickle fork of some sorts, and then uh, you end up taking these two bolts, the adjustment bolts back here at the back, which uh, sets the actual alignment of the front end. And so now uh, I'm fixing to do just some touch-ups while I've got all this tore down. Or well, nothing's even tore down anymore. All I got is the tire off. But I'm fixing to go ahead and take some black spray paint and touch up where the some of it's a little rusty and a little little dingy looking. Might as well. While I yeah, while I got it undone. So uh, I want to show you guys what it looks like after it's done painting. And I think that's going to be about the end of this video. All right, you guys, so I just got done painting it, and I have to say, this looks a whole lot better. And uh, don't worry, you guys, I, I do have a lot more, like, okay, you know how I've got all these A-arms, and I, I got everything sprayed back, gloss black, looking nice and fresh and new. I, and now, the, the dingy parts, you're going to have to excuse for a little while, because I do, I do eventually plan on getting those done right as well. Now, granted, this was all rattle can, and this isn't technically the right way to do it, but I, it just really cleaned up that this isn't a show truck. You see what I'm saying? So, and I don't, I don't play it off to be a show truck as well. And so, a uh, can of Rust Oleum gloss black spray paint is 100% fine with me. So, uh, I do have a lot of plans for some more of these suspension components, especially up here in the front. More plans for in the front than in the back uh, for whenever these this huge upgrade comes in that I've got coming for Reba, hopefully in about a month now. I'm hoping that in about a month I'll have those in and they'll be able to go on. Um, and of course some of you guys are going to be able to guess it it is wheels although i'm not releasing what kind of wheels i'm getting the only thing i will say is the name brand the name brand is fuels and uh that's usually just like the go-to medium it's like a real it's medium to high quality wheels uh i'm definitely not trying to ruin forces on this truck just no point. I'm not a huge fan of forces to the, to begin with, especially not anymore. Um, but at the same time, uh, this isn't a 2017 SEMA show truck. So it is the weekend after got done doing the ball joint on Reba. That video was not quite long enough to be all on its own, so I figured I'd wait a week and introduce the new Super Ten. It happens to be mine. I got it. We've had my Super 10 in previous videos, but not this one. We had my little gray one, which was 89. This is 85. Four wheel drive, four speed, leather interior. Pretty rare. Uh, I put, so far, everything on the truck's original, but my roll bars, my wheels, my antenna because the old one broke off and my light bulb which happens to be a 40 inch light bulb and you can go on amazon and order them for right at 40 bucks you pay like a dollar an inch it's a pretty good deal and i buzzer took it took my grill out but uh yeah so far i've only got just wheels my roll bars 
Look at it. Board. It's fancy. And no, if y'all are wondering, I'm not running wheel spacers. Yeah, no wheel spacers, guys. I have guys. been asked to run wheel spacers multiple times. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm not running wheel spacers. And so, what are we doing to this thing today? Well, today, we're going to put... We're going to light up the world. We're going to put more light bars on there. We're going to light up the freaking world. Well, light bars and cars. And I'll show y'all what this light bulb looks like. Oh! They couldn't see for half a second. God almighty. Yeah, you can you can see it clear on the camera. It stops about right here. I need you guys' help, by the way. I've got a light bar for my truck. A curved 50-inch light bar. I need the viewer's help. Do I put it on or not? It's going to be a roof mount, that's for sure. We've already sure. we've already figured that out, if I put it on. But do I need to put it on? Or should I just leave Reba stop? We're going to let you guys decide. Questions need answers. But, yeah, today so far, that's about all we got. We're going to put some, a light bar on. Which I bought it from a friend, and I paid it like right at 20 bucks, 20 bucks for it. Uh, I think it's a 32, and then I got a couple of pods I'm going to try and put on. No tailgate, rally style. Rally style. Okay. American flag, because it's uh, almost Independence Day, motherfuckers. Mm. Now we're going to head back in here. Show you guys this bar and pods. So yes, the bar is a little dirty, but as he said a minute ago, I bought it from my yeah, friend. it's used. But you can see that I had the light bar tore down because if y'all have ever watched Landon's video on his light bar, which those are those videos are actually jumping a little bit. They're, they're pretty jumping, you know. But uh, he was talking about in it, you have to moisture proof the light bar so it didn't have moisture on the lens. And I kind of wish I wouldn't have cleaned it up, but sort of, before I brought it over here. So I could show y'all what moisture looks like on the inside. And it is on the inside of the light bulb. It's pretty horrible looking. Yeah, it is. It's it does a, not look and good. And whenever you turn it on, it looks worse. Yeah. But uh, I got this light bulb tore down because we're going to be permatexing it like Landon did his light bulb so it never happens again. And I have these three inch... LED light pods. Do any mounts come with those? Yes, it does. These mounts. Oh, I right was just wondering. Oh, I got you. I got you. Yeah, it, this light pod has a nut in the back, as y'all can see moving around right there. And what you do is you stick a bolt through here on the bracket, bolt it in, and then, but you have to bolt it down first, of course. Bolt it down. Stick that in there, and then you can adjust it to how you want it to be. How you want the angle, yeah. and you can center it that way as well. So, and um, so I got one, two. Well, you got more. Oh yeah, I forgot you said. Damn. Yeah, this is Project Light Up the World. Three. Still not as much LED cubes or bars as Huey, but... Yeah, they, he's kind of got me beat by a long shot. But I have four three-inch LED light pods that I'm trying that I'm going to mount today. I have one that's sort of mounted, but I mounted mine different because I was going to mount this as a reverse light because on my little S10, I kind of don't really have reverse lights. Oh, that's right. It, yeah, it is. But I don't have them, so I'm going to use light pods so I can see whenever I back up. Really going to help out. But yeah, you can use these brackets differently than how you're supposed to. Just all depends on where you're mounting them and how you're mounting them and where it'd be best to put it on there. So yeah, that's... I'm, about it for what we're gonna do today. This is just project light up the world and 
You guys stay tuned and us wiring these lights up. Yep. This is preparation for the truck meet in two weeks as of today. I'm posting this, I should be posting this video on a Friday night. And as of Friday, June the 30th, it's two weeks till the next truck meet. The June third JNL truck meet. So this is preparation for that. I've got some more preparation coming for Reba. That should be here in a few days. And we're gonna be ready for this thing. We're gonna be ready. So you we hope to, we hope to see yes, yeah, sir. Too. We hope to see some subscribers out there, boys. And so you guys stay tuned. Let's see what this light up the world project turns into. All right, so got the light pods mounted. As you can see, this is our mounting system, and he's got a really easy. This is this was really easy to mount up the pods. The hard part now is the actual wiring. I'm hoping that you guys are gonna be able to see where the pods are. Yeah. So I feel like that's really going to look good with everything wired up. He's digging out the switch and the wiring we're going to need now. And yes, we are doing this a legit way. We are not running wire through this goddamn window right here. We're going to actually run it down. You guys can't see the hole because there's not good enough lighting. But we're running it down through the bed, along the frame, back up into the cab somehow. And then we're going to wire it up to another switch like he did his light bar. And so that's what we're up to now. Fisting to dig out some wiring. There she blows. The good old Harbor Freight wire storage house. And uh, we're going to get cracking on some wiring. I'm hoping to see these things light up before we head out tonight. Uh, let's... Okay, yeah, so I uh, forgot to explain the angles on these. So he already has his light bar shining straight forward. So he's going to take the pods and aim them out just a little bit. So both of these are sitting at an angle. We did that on purpose. He wants these to kind of shine towards the side. So that way he's got just this huge wide range of lighting. And so we're fishing to get cracking on the wiring. And we'll show you guys how we end up running this wire because as of right now, we don't know of a hole in the cab. So we're going to be looking for one of those and then we'll show you guys what this looks like. Alright, so we are currently inside the Super 10, finishing up wiring up. He had a switch mounted here for his light bar. We are taking that switch off and replacing it with this switch. This one's a lot cleaner looking. And we're going to mount it right here. On, on just on the back side of his uh, four-wheel drive lever here and this camera is about to die so I gotta hurry with this uh, so we got all of we got the two light pods wired together got them run down through the hole in the bed run along the frame and then ran back into the cab of the truck and then we just got this is our excess wire right here for the pods and then he's already got a power run inside the truck from the other switch that we're just gonna wire up into this switch and then we're going to run this, the pods, wire, and the light bar power wire onto the same side of the switch. And then uh, whenever we flip the light, unless we have a bad ground, it should come on. So we're fixing to finish this up. I'm going to go grab a charger for this camera. And uh, we're fixing to see if these light pods will light it up. All right, so just got done. I'm probably going to try and wait and see if I can get you guys a better nighttime view of this wiring job because it is, it's okay. It's pretty nice. Uh, as you can see, we electrical taped all this wire, ran it down, zip tied it to the roll bar here, ran it down along the frame and inside the cab. And then he's got his switch nicely mounted. This camera is still about to die, so I'm trying to make this real fast in a hurry. And the switch is right here you can see it shining and then flip it on lights are on now they're off and that's going to pretty much sum it up for this time you guys be sure to like subscribe comment i know this outro is going to be pretty quick not going to really have time for any of us to talk about future plans but please stay tuned be sure to check us out in the next one and as always have a good one